Hi hey everyone, welcome back to Math 301, Introduction to Combinatorial Theory. And today we're going to be talking about section 7.2. The idea is to connect things that we already learned about binomial coefficients, Pascal's triangle, and the binomial theorem with generating functions, which are the new topic of chapter 7. So let me show, show a picture. We're going to do a very easy problem and then see how it connects with generating functions. So let's say you have four fruits in the fridge, strawberry, banana, orange, and mango, and you want to choose some number of them. So let's say you want to um, choose, choose two of them. Well, the number of ways to do this is four choose two, which is six. But now maybe I wanna change the, the, the number that I wanna choose. So I could figure out um, how many I wanna choose, and I could think about all the possibilities of k. So I could choose k to be zero, one, two, three or four, and then the number of ways to choose k of them, well, there's only one way to choose nothing. There are four ways to choose one piece of fruit. There are six ways to choose two pieces of fruit, four ways to choose three pieces of fruit, I just need to exclude one of them, and only one way to choose four pieces of fruit. So this is the fourth line of Pascal's triangle. So now we're gonna do the very same problem, but using the method of generating functions. Of course, it's gonna be more complicated because this is the easiest way of doing this problem, but it is possible to do this problem using generating functions also. So for that, we're gonna think about each category, so we have the strawberry category, the banana ca category, the orange category, and the mango category. And for the strawberry, unfortunately, there's only one of them in the refrigerator, so I can choose zero or one. Likewise, the banana, I can only choose zero or one. The orange, I can choose zero or one and the mango I can choose zero or one. And then the number of pieces of fruit I'll have will be the sum of the four values that I pick here, whether it's, for instance, one way of getting two pieces of fruit would be if I picked one strawberry and one banana, so that would be the sum of one and one. So remember that if we wanna add numbers, one way of doing that is to multiply polynomials because the exponents add when you multiply polynomials. So we're gonna replace this with the polynomial x to the zero plus x to the one. Well, x to the zero is just the number, is just the number one. So really this polynomial is one plus x to the one, and then we get the same thing for each of them. So, then we're gonna multiply these four polynomials. And uh, it turns out if you do this on Sage, you'll see that this is going to be, uh, the leading term is x the fourth, and then we get, hmm, let's write it in the other, the other direction. So leading the, the lowest term is one, and then there's a linear term of four x, and then a quadratic term of six x squared, and then four x cubed, and then the leading term is x to the fourth. And so notice that these coefficients are the coefficients which are in the fourth line of Pascal's triangle, and now they're the coefficients of a polynomial. So what that tells us is that one plus x to the fourth is 
the generating function for the sequence that starts one, four, six, four, one, and then continues with lots of zeros. And this, this is another way of saying the binomial theorem. It's sort of a variation on bi the binomial theorem. So remember what the binomial theorem said was that if we look at if we look at x plus y to the n, then this is the sum of x to the n minus k times y to the k times the coefficient n choose k as k goes from zero to n, which is a fancy way of saying that when you expand this, the coefficients are the nth row of Pascal's triangle because that's nth row is all the binomial coefficients n choose k as k goes from zero to n. And another way of saying this is that, um, let's plug in y equals one, then we get that this is the sum of n choose k times x to the n minus k. And so, um, and so this, this, oh, I forgot the n. And so this, this is what we just said a moment before. There's a slight change of variables here using the fact that n choose k is the same as n choose n minus k. So we can, well, to really do this well, we would rewrite this as n choose n minus k times x to the n minus k as k goes from zero to n. And then we would do a change of variables where we would uh, replace n minus k by L. And then when k is zero, L is n. And when k is n, L is zero. And, and so that's just um, a fancy way of just saying that we have the sum, I'm gonna switch back, sum of the sum of the monomials, x to the L as L goes from zero to N multiplied by the coefficient N choose L. All right, so I, maybe I made that a little more complicated than it needs to be, but the conclusion is that this function x plus one to the N is the generating function for the sequence, which um, which starts with the nth row of Pascal's triangle. And so you can think about what we just did on the previous slide with the explanation about why this is the generating function being essentially another proof of the binomial theorem. Okay, so that's just another example of generating functions that we've already seen in the text. See you next time.